Hello there. Today we're tackling a challenge that many small business owners face, which is funding and research development. Now, if you are an entrepreneur, you should know how critical research and development is for staying competitive and growing your business. But let's be honest: finding the money to actually fund those innovative ideas can be tough, especially when you're already stretched. Now, research and development, which is R and D for innovations, is often seen as something only big companies can afford. But that's a misconception. Small businesses need research and development just as much, if not more, to innovate and stay relevant. So, how do you fund it when you're on a tight budget? Let's break down some strategies that can help you make it happen. One, government grants and subsidies. Now, many governments offer financial support, especially and specifically for small businesses engaged with in research and development. Now, these grants can cover a significant portion of research costs. For example, in countries like Nigeria, the government offers various grants for businesses in tech, agriculture, and manufacturing to boost innovation. Now, do some research to find out what's available in your region and apply. Now, it's money that's there to help you, and you don't have to pay it back. It might take some paperwork, but the benefits can be huge for your business. Two partnerships and collaborations. Partnering with universities, research institutions, or even other businesses can give you access to research and development resources without bearing the full cost of yourself. For instance, imagine you're developing a new agricultural tool. Partnering with a local university could give you access to research labs, expert advice, and even student researchers eager to work on real-world projects. It's a win-win situation if you get the research done and they get valuable experience and potential future business partnerships. Collaborations like these can stretch your budget and also open up new opportunities. Three, crowdfunding. Another creative way to fund your research and development is through crowdfunding platforms like Kickstarter, amongst others, which allows you to raise funds directly from the public. If your idea is innovative and resonates with people, you can get the financial backing you need to make it to life. Now, let's say you're developing a new type of eco-friendly packaging. Now you could create a crowdfunding campaign showcasing the environmental impact and potential benefits of your product. Now, if your presence or your idea is well, people who believe in your vision will support you financially. Not only do you raise funds, but you also build a community of early supporters who are excited about your project. Next is angel investors and venture capital. Now, if you're ready to take things to the next level. Consider reaching out to angel investors and venture capitalists. These are individuals or firms that invest in promising businesses in exchange for equity. They often look for innovative ideas with high growth potential, which is exactly what research and development can deliver. However, be prepared to pitch your idea clearly and show how it will generate returns. For instance, if you're developing a new technology that could revolutionize an industry. Investors will want to know how it works, what makes it unique, and how it will make money. Now, it's a challenging path, but the right with the right advisor, it can provide both funding and valuable mentorship. Remember, investors are not just bringing money to the table; they're also bringing experience and connections that can help you grow your business. Five, bootstrapping with a purpose. Lastly, let's talk about bootstrapping with a purpose. This means using your own resources to fund your research and development, but with a strategic approach. You might start small, focusing on incremental improvements that don't require massive funding. For example, instead of developing an entirely new product, you could enhance an existing one using the resources you already have. Now you can reinvest profits from your business directly into the research and development. This approach might take longer, but it allows you to maintain control and ownership of your ideas. 
Remember, research and development isn't just for big companies. It's essential for small businesses that want to stay competitive and make an impact. If you found this video helpful, do not forget to hit the like button, share it with your fellow entrepreneurs, and also subscribe for more tips on how to grow your business. Let's keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Many thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.